Welcome to the Stop Over Drinking and Start Living podcast, where high achieving, goal oriented rebel women come to learn how to live a vibrant and fulfilling life without requiring alcohol to get through it. No labels, no judgments, no saying you'll never drink again, just real proven methods to help you stop rebelling against yourself with alcohol so you can drink less and do more. I'm your host, Angela Masenik. Let's dig in. Welcome to episode 295, How to Use Humor to Drink Less. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the podcast. How are you all? Today's topic is humor. (laughs) And I think you've, you've listened to this podcast for a while. You know, I love a good cheesy joke. If you've coached with me, my favorite song to sing or hit play on is um, I'm the Problem, It's Me by Taylor Swift. You know, I try to get a lot of humor and observing my own mind and the crazy ridiculous things it might say to me to get me to do something. I think that's really funny. So I just wanted to expand on the idea of adding a little bit of humor into your day to day life so that you feel better and want to drink less. So as a little reminder, we drink to make ourselves feel better, whether we want to amplify sort of good celebratory feelings, we want more of those we drink, and to dilute or suppress or soften negative feelings. And this is usually where we get into trouble when we decide to drink around the feeling we want to have or the feeling we don't want to have. And when we do that, we introduce the addictive component to the want and need and craving for alcohol. Alcohol all on its own is an addictive drug. And so even if you're not using it as a way to amplify or suppress your feelings, um, you can get addicted to it in just weekend drinking, going out with friends, um, in any way that you use it because it is a highly addictive drug. And so when we want to stop using it, you know, we have so much to work through for most of my clients. We've been struggling with this for decades and it's a lot to undo. And one of the ways to undo this is learning how to have fun without drinking in different situations. And we do that by looking at humor, right? Like having fun, um, learning how to have fun and to laugh without drinking alcohol. And a lot of people legit don't know how to do this. <laughs> they Maybe they did as a children, right? But in their early adult lives, maybe they needed alcohol to be social or to have fun, right? That was definitely my experience. I grew up in high school, you know, I started smoking pot in high school and drinking a little bit. And then when I got to college, it was smoking pot and drinking. And then, you know, as I got more sophisticated and more grown up, it was more just alcohol. And, you know, you could buy it, you could afford it, you could go to wineries, you could vacation with it, go to Vegas, all those things. And it became how to have fun, right? And I never thought that I could have fun and without drinking. Like, I really believe that to be a fact, okay? I would I would collate my friends if they drank or not because people that drank were boring. And so today I want to talk about humor and how to bring that into your day-to-day life. I actually made a reel on Instagram a couple months ago, and it was so silly, but I thought it was so funny in the moment. It was Friday night, and um, it was even really nighttime. I think it was 6.30 p.m. on a Friday and my we had already eaten dinner and like, what are we going to do? And I think my husband and I wanted to watch a movie or something. And I was like, ooh, I, this idea came to my head. I was like, ooh, I was like, honey, should we have coffee? And he's like, no. And I'm like, yeah, let's have some coffee at 6.30 p.m. on a Friday night and live a little. Let's go wild. And he's like, no, we can't. I'm like, yeah, we can. And so I convinced him to have coffee. And I was laughing about this because that is our edge, right? Like that is edgy for us is to have fucking coffee on a Friday night at 6.30 PM because we're so straight laced, right? Like 
we go to bed early, we wake up early, we drink coffee in the morning, I'm drinking decaf herbal tea at night, and that's about as exciting as beverage-wise as it gets, okay? And so for us to decide that we're going to live a little, live on the edge, and do something a little crazy, we're going to have some coffee at 6.30. So I'm just thinking this is hilarious, right? And laughing and telling Pete about it. And so I made us a little French press, and then I just did this like five-second video of our two cups of coffee with the French press behind it. And, um, I made a reel out of it and I threw it up on Instagram and it said, it's about, get, it's about to get wild in here, having coffee at 6 30 PM on a Friday and like all of these crazy laughing emojis. And the reel went viral and this reel is still going viral. It's up to 5 million views and plays and like thousands and thousands of shares and comments. Like every time I open up my Instagram, I have a hundred new likes and like hundreds of comments. Like it's crazy. And I almost want to take it down because it's like so invasive, (laughs) but that is how we want to think about things. Right. So like that one little funny night, like just made our Friday night less boring. Right. Like we thought it was really funny that we were going to drink coffee on a Friday night and it, People resonate with that, right? So that's just one way you can add in humor. The most fun way, I think, adding in humor to your day-to-day life, especially when you're trying to make changes, especially if you have the same beliefs that I did, that not drinking is boring and you're not going to have any fun, you're going to be a stick in the mud and you're going to be an old person and all that stuff, is to observe your own mind, (laughs) right? So when you work with me, you are required to fill out um, some paperwork (laughs) and do some journaling and do some worksheets on a daily basis to um, learn about yourself and learn how your mind thinks. And um, when you do that, you get to know yourself very well and you get to interrupt some of the thought patterns that aren't helping you get the results that you want to have. And one of the most fun things to do is approach it with curiosity and humor. And so when you see yourself thinking on a Friday night, if you, if you plan to not have alcohol and your brain is like, you know, you should really have this drink because, um, you're never going to have this wine again. And if you don't ever have this wine again, you're not going to be able to talk about it with your friends and you've worked really hard all week and your mind just goes on, you know, to this path of crazy town. Right. And when you are doing this work and you see your mind doing that, you can just laugh. And when you laugh at your own mind trying to convince you and tell you crazy ass things to get you to do something and you laugh at it and you can observe it, it's funny, it takes the pressure off, right? You're able to observe yourself and the crazy that's inside your own head. And listen, we all have it, including me. And you laugh, that releases endorphins and it makes you feel better and it helps you relax And it helps you get away from the urge and the the battle in your mind for a moment. And it's a super effective way to work through this stuff is to laugh. And I would task you this week to start looking for the crazy wild thoughts that your brain wants to say to you. Like make it your project this week to be like, I'm on a hunt for all of the crazy ass excuses. My wild brain is going to tell me to drink this week. And like write them down and then laugh about it. Because when you do that and you don't kind of like buy into the thoughts and you start battling with the thoughts, like that's not fun, right? That is definitely not humorous. And it's like you're believing the thoughts when they come in. But if you can just recognize like, wow, you are really throwing me some shit right now. (laughs) And you tell that to your brain while it's giving you these wild thoughts, it's funny. And it brings the temperature down a little bit. The other way I really like to have fun is like, you know, I just observe myself in my own natural environment, (laughs) you know, very similar to thinking about things like today I sent a reel or not a reel, but a video (laughs) to coach Steph. And, uh, and actually I I wanted to do this topic on adding in more fun. So, um, (laughs) coach Steph loves this, but I had, um, yogurt for breakfast and I put, I eat the same thing every day. You guys, I've been eating the same breakfast every month for every day for like a month. It's Greek yogurt. I add, um, like no sugar, vanilla flavored protein powder and chia seeds and fruit and some granola. I eat that every day for breakfast. (laughs) So good. And, and I don't think that's boring at all. I just love it. 
And so I um, ate my breakfast and I took a shower and I'm like, you know, getting dressed and everything. And I like, (laughs) I look in the mirror and I smile and I've got about a thousand chia seeds (laughs) in my teeth. And I'm like, oh my God, you know, cause I'm like ready for work, you know? And like, I thought maybe I would do a video where I would be like, where I Marco Polo, my private clients and things. And so <laughs> I sent a video. It just reminded me of the um, coffee reel. And so I just did a little video and I said, hi, my name is Angela Masenic and you'll never guess what I had for breakfast today. And then I smile and I do a close up of my teeth with the chia seeds in it. And then I send that video <laughs> to coach Steph and died laughing. Okay. Like that is fun. And that gives you energy. And then I'm like, I'm really holding back on posting that to Instagram. <laughs> I'm running ads right now to join the wine free work week challenge. And I'm like, people are going to think I have lost my rocker, but listen, I want you to laugh because this podcast is all about humor. So if you want that video, guess what? All you have to do is email me and I'll email it to you. (laughs) Email me. Hello, Angela Masenic.com. And I will email you the chia seed video. How's that? (laughs) I don't know if you'll think it's funny, but that's not the point. The point is not about humor for other people to laugh. It's for you to find some humor in your day-to-day life so that you can um, relieve some of that pressure valve and not take things too seriously, release some endorphins and distract yourself from your own human suffering. Okay. It's not so much that other people get it. That's not the point. I laugh at things all the time. My kids are like, that's not my, not funny, mom. I'm like, I know you don't think it's funny, but I do. And that's the point, (laughs) right? So this is about what you think is funny. Don't try to be an entertainer. Okay. (laughs) That's not what this is. This is about for you so that you can get that endorphin kick, that you can find some lightness and laughter in this journey of reducing your relation or reducing how much you're drinking and changing your relationship with alcohol. It's not funny to have, um, an addiction to alcohol, right? Like it sucks and it's hard and it doesn't feel good. Right. And we have a lot of negative thinking about ourselves. And so if you can find some humor in the process of changing your relationship with alcohol, I invite you to do that on a day-to-day basis. Nature is really funny. That's another one. You can just go outside and observe some squirrels. You guys know that I have a squirrel tattoo on my arm. Okay. And everybody is like, um, it's not just a squirrel. There's flowers and bees and, you know, greenery and things around it. But a lot of people ask me if there's a name for this squirrel. And I wanted to have a name for the squirrel. So I was walking in the woods, of course, and I saw this squirrel and it was acting crazy. It was like darting back and forth and acting really, really silly. And I just thought it was really funny. And I said, you're a nut job. And then I'm like, oh my God, that's the name of my squirrel, nut job, because I'm a nut job. The squirrel's a nut job. We're all nut jobs. Okay. Like, and if you can't laugh at yourself, what is there? This, some of this stuff is funny. Our brains are wild and crazy. There's funny stuff that you can observe about yourself and other people. Now don't be a jerk and laugh when you shouldn't be laughing, (laughs) right? And don't be inappropriate and make fun of other people. But again, try to find some things that are funny to you. If that's your kids and they're crazy, um, your husband or partner and they're crazy, go out in nature, observe some squirrels or some birds, um, look at the trees, how they communicate to each other, engage with it, you know, hug a tree and feel really uncomfortable and laugh at yourself for that. Try something new. Maybe it's a new sport. Um, maybe it's a new social group something that you haven't done before and laugh at yourself as you fumble and, and figure things out, right? Maybe it's a board game. Um, maybe it's a language app, anything, right? Like go to a social event and not drink and observe and laugh at yourself and how crazy your mind will react to that situation, but seek out humor, find it, laugh at yourself, enjoy it, enjoy the process. And I promise you will get better results in your Um, desire to change your relationship with drinking and you'll think you're funny. And (laughs) if you can't laugh at yourself, I don't know what to tell you, my friends, but go find some humor today. 
seek it out, find it, laugh, and watch some of the pressure that you have on yourself and figuring all this out kind of fall away. All right, my friends, if you want that video, all you have to do is email me at hello at Angela Masenic, and I will send it to you. <laughs> and hey, we are actively promoting the Wine Free Work Week Challenge. So go to www.angelamasenic.com forward slash wine. I'm sorry, WFWW. It's angelamasenic.com forward slash WFWW. It's $7.77 to join the Wine Free Work Week Challenge. It's coming up here in two weeks. It's Monday through Thursday. You take a pledge to go alcohol-free four days. And then for four days in a row, I'm going to be coming live on Zoom and doing Q&A style coaching and giving you one simple assignment to do in your inbox. There's a chance to win fun prizes. We have a private Facebook community. This is fun. I'm going to be bringing in the humor for sure. We have a rocking playlist that I share with everybody. And I'm here to show you how to have fun and drink less. I'm the fun stop over drinking coach and we bring it all for wine free work week challenge. I've taken, I've taken thousands of women through this challenge and you don't want to miss. So I hope to see you there. And then also we have four spots left for the Cancun and coaching package. So we start October 1st with the coaching. You have three months of high touch coaching with me private and in the small group of people who are going to Cancun in December. It's the first week of December, December 2nd through 6th in Cancun, Mexico at an all-inclusive adults-only beachfront resort where we will have private sessions. We're going to do yoga in the morning, sunrise and journaling. We're going to do an excursion. There's a spa day, lots of time to chill and relax and do your own thing on site at the resort. And I have four spots left, but we need you to sign up before October 1st. So I'm going to put the link in the show notes for that. If you have been waiting to do something big and you're sick of tired of feeling sick and tired and you feel like you need to do something drastic or do something big and you want my personalized support and coaching, it's like having me in your pocket, do the Cancun and coaching package. All right, my friends, I can't wait to talk to you again next week. And remember to laugh. Talk soon. I want you to check out AngelaMasonic.com forward slash Alive AF. You know what it's like to have a desire to cut back on your drinking, right? You start to read books, listen to podcasts, try things, but you might not be able to yet put all the pieces and suggestions together in a way that actually makes sense and works for you. You might struggle with beating yourself up after an overdrink. You might get frustrated with yourself when you take two steps forward and then another two steps back and get overwhelmed with what's right and wrong about your relationship with alcohol. Your friends tell you that you should be able to have just one drink and it isn't a big deal. You might be white knuckling through urges and resisting instead of peacefully processing them. And you might struggle with your identity as someone who has enjoyed having a lot of wine or alcohol in your life. It's around you all the time. It's what you do and who you are. Well, after five years of successfully coaching hundreds of women through these struggles, I have created the Alive AF membership where women like you can learn the basics on what it takes to cut back and reach your goals with alcohol, whether it is to just drink less or totally quit. And when you join, you will get the exact framework I used to change my own relationship with alcohol and still use today that has led me to be alcohol free for over five years. You're going to get access to my resources, videos, and worksheets that have been proven to change and reduce how much you drink. Every day you can ask questions, share your obstacles, and get coaching and direct support on the challenges you will face with love and no judgment. Also, you will get immediate access to workshops like uncovering your alcohol identity and changing it, how to say no to things that don't support your new identity or life or goals, aka boundaries, <laughs> a workshop called creating emotional agency, and another one, how to manage your mind to succeed at your goals and more. Every month we have a brand new workshop. These workshops are filled with step-by-step -step prompts and instruction to help you create the exact relationship with alcohol that is best for you. 
My mission and vision for Alive AF is to be a hub of support and resources for women to come and learn how to do what is best for them and becoming more alive in the process. When you join, you're gonna learn how to take care of yourself better, how to feel good and become more alive and go after the life that you really want. I want this membership to be affordable and an easy solution where you can get all the help you need in one simple place whenever you need it. So no need to go read another book, find a new podcast, attend a free webinar, or go down the path of piecemealing it all together. Join Alive AF and have it all there in one place for you anytime you need it. So go to angelamasenic.com forward slash Alive AF and enrollment is open right now. See you inside. Didn't we put it out?